Hello and welcome to the setup video for the LiDAR Mapping Script version 3. Uh, starting with just a platform here, and I went ahead and placed all my cameras just to save time. Uh, I placed them on rotors to save space on the large grid. And I also have uh, them placed in all six directions with roughly the same number of cameras per direction. So to start, we'll go ahead and place our programmable block. And we can come in here, edit, browse workshop. My uh, script will be here once I upload the new version. I still have it here. Uh, biggest change, or one of the big changes in the new version is that it no longer takes uh, multiple block groups. And there's now just a single block group that has all the blocks that you'll use for the script. Name tag is the same. It'll append uh, the name tag to the name of all retrieved blocks. If you're going to use a modded sensor, set this to true. And you do not need uh, cameras if you're going to use the modded sensor because it won't use them both anyway. If you're going to use the missile system, then make sure you have projectors and an antenna in that LiDAR block group. Uh, if you want to manually target objects, you'll need a target cam, name whatever you want here. And max fire range just says that if you're going to use missiles uh, and you don't want them to fire on objects farther than a certain distance, you can set that distance here. By default, it is uh, max range of the uh, LiDAR script. There are optional settings, but we'll get into that in another video. Um, let's go over the basics in this one. So I'll do check code and remember and exit. And you'll see, as I said, uh, now it takes a single block group and it gives you an idea of what you should add to that block group. So we will start with cameras because there's a bunch of them. Uh, make sure I have all cameras. And light up system. Save. And if we look in here, it now found the block group but it says we're missing a ship controller and an LCD. So we'll place our ship controller here. It can be either a remote control block or a flight seat. And an LCD here. And we'll go ahead and add those to the block group. Just control select and save. And the same for the LCD. And you'll see that it now has everything. And it has labeled the cameras with uh, the name tag as well as the axis that they lie on. Um, no longer renames the entire uh, camera name. So whatever name you give the camera will still be here. Uh, it just depends that to the end now. So if we come down to our programmable block, it's now running. Uh, you can see um, how long it takes between refreshes of the map here. Um, current settings, this is new in version three. So all your current settings will be here. And usable commands. So we have a couple new commands here. Uh, precision mode, this is for offset targeting. Uh, if you want to aim at a specific part of a ship or station, uh, you can set this to true and it will use um, precision, precision aiming instead of just aiming at the center of the grid. Uh, auto launch, all that is the same. Uh, if you want um, to combine them, you can combine them in two ways now and I'll update this uh, before I release it. We can come into custom data here, and we can either go range 3, resolution, medium, uh, precision, false, or we can do it this way. Range 3, resolution, medium, precision, false. Okay, and auto launch is in there too as an available uh, custom data command. 
auto launch balls. Although auto launch won't do anything if you don't have uh, missiles. So we'll just use this one for now. Boom, boom, boom. Hit OK. And you'll notice um, everything updates on there. We've got a couple of targets on there. One is my ship over there. And we've got an enemy somewhere out in front of us. Oh, let's add 3D on here so we can see if it's above or below. There we go. Now it looks like it's that guy we're looking at. One of those two. But uh, that's it for the basic setup, and we'll do uh, another video for the more advanced and uh, optional settings. Um, thanks for watching, and please feel free to leave a comment if you have a question.